A very good morning to all of you class 5. Welcome back to this personal study. Today we will uh, do a small poem in your English um, textbook, Beauty. Now this poem is from Honeysuckle and this poem is right after the lesson An Indian American Woman in Space Kalpana Chabla. If you open page number 50, uh, 54, you will find the poem here. So, the uh, name of the poem is Beauty and the learning outcome, what do we learn from this poem is to appreciate beauty in everything around us. Through this poem, the poet wants the readers to understand and appreciate beauty in everything, everything which is around us. That would be the learning outcome of this poem. Now, let us learn a little bit about the poet. Uh, the poet is... Luis Abeta Chiwiwi. However, in the textbook, it is written as E Yeshur or Blue Corn. This is, you know, um, the, the, this may be her native name. Okay, this may be her native name. She was born on September 9th, 1926, and she died on July 21st, 2014. Was a Pablion writer, poet, and educator this is about the poet okay there's nothing much i could not find much about the poet uh, about, uh, more than this so there are a few words in the poem which i want to i will uh, for words and phrases in the poem okay so right now this is the introduction of the poet uh, of the poet and she has written a very beautiful poem describing the nature and everything around her in a very beautiful way so let us see the poem here like i told you that she is an american writer poet and educator okay and she is uh, she was born in 1926 new mexico okay new mexico is a state in united states and uh, one of her famous work is i am a pueblo indian girl okay so here this is the poem let us read the poem beauty is seen in the sunlight the trees the birds, corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest. Beauty is heard in the night, wind sighing, rain falling or a singer chanting anything is earnest. Beauty is in yourself. Good deeds, happy thoughts that repeat themselves in your dreams, in your work and even in your rest so this is the poem it is a very short poem and in this po uh, poem the poet first in the first stanza the poem this the first stanza you will see the poet describes the beauty which we can see around us beauty we can see in the nature she says that you can see beauty uh, in the sunlight you will find beauty in the sunlight and something as simple as sunlight you will see beauty in the trees in the flowers how the trees and the leaves in every season the trees they change their shade they change their color so you will see uh, beauty in the trees in the sunlight in the sunrise in the sun uh, sunset and the poet says you will see beauty in the birds how do they fly where the sound they make okay so here the uh, poet is describing beauty in simple things like we all notice the sun rising the sun set we have a, a day when the sun rise we have a nightfall when the sun sets so but we you know, most of the time we don't uh, really appreciate the beauty right so here the poet is teaching us to appreciate uh, the nature around us and simple things like trees when you look out of your window when you see the trees on uh, you know on the road or outside your house you see that in every season the uh, the beauty of the tree will change you will see hear the birds chirping outside corn growing and people working here the uh, in this line or dancing for their harvest the poet describes the people of you know, people who are working in uh, uh, in the field. Corn is a kind of a cereal, okay? It's a kind of a cereal which the farmers grow. So the poet says, you know, there's a beauty in uh, when people ha uh, when uh, people are working in farm and when they're growing, when they're uh, cultivating. 
like here in Assam, we have you know we have paddy field, we have rice field. So uh, farmers they 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 go and they work in their field. The same way here, the poet is describing that there is a beauty when people in people when they are growing and they are working in their field and when they are dancing for their far harvest. Harvest is the time when we collect when we gather crop from our field right the farmers this is a uh, farmers when they collect their ready made where uh, we're ready for crops from the field that is the harvest time like we have bihu here so what do we do in a bihu season what do farmers do we celebrate they dance so the poet is describing the beauty of farmers working and farmers celebrating their harvest now in the second stanza the uh, the poet describes the beauty which we cannot you know uh, which we cannot see but we can hear beauty is heard says that we hear the beauty in the night at night wind sighing when the wind blows because in daytime we have a lot of noise so a lot of time we may not hear we may not hear the sound of wind but the uh, here the poet says at night you know when the wind blows and when it rains the rain falling the sound of the rain or a single chanting anything in earnest that or a single single singing earnestly with sincerity so here in the second stanza the uh, poet describes the beauty as we can hear it okay as we can hear it in the third stanza beauty is in yourself now in the third stanza the uh, poet tells us that beauty is within us it is inside us in the in good deeds good deeds means good work which we do whatever work we do we have there's a beauty if you if you do it good that's a beautiful uh, it's a beautiful work happy thoughts when you have a happy thoughts that is a beauty and uh, that's it and the poet says that repeat themselves in your dreams in your work and even in your rest so here in the last stanza the poet is emphasizing that the beauty is not only outside it is not only outside which you can see and hear but it is within us also we can also create beauty with a beautiful work by thinking having beautiful thought and and that beautiful thought and that beautiful work it will repeat itself it will repeat in a beautiful dream it will show in a beautiful work which we do and even in your rest that means even when you when a human being when they pass away also even in when they rest or when you sleep even there also even after they passing away also the beautiful their beautiful deeds their good work are always remembered and they are remembered for their uh, happy thoughts for the beautiful thoughts for the beautiful work okay so this is a very short poem in the first stanza the poet says that beauty can be seen in sunlight trees birds and corn growing people working and dancing for harvest people uh, dance joyfully for their harvest so in the first stanza poet describes how beauty can be seen second stanza poet is talking about how beauty can be heard according to the her according to the poet can be heard at night when the wind blows and when the rain falls and a singer sings in earnest that means earnest means sincerity from the core of with the uh, from uh, from the bottom of their heart so here in the second stanza the poet tells us how to find beauty how to see uh, hear beauty okay then in the third stanza the stanza the poet says in the concluding concluding stanza that beauty lies in ourselves in our good work in our happy thoughts which are repeated in our work and in our uh, dreams and even when we take rest okay so this is the explanation of the poem that's a very short poem i want all of you to please go through this summary i will upload this uh, ppt in the google classroom so you can share it summary of the poem is beauty gives pleasure to all our senses it can be noticed senses when we see it eyes is a sense right a notice in the sunlight the trees the birds and the dancing groups people dance joyfully for their harvest dance can beauty can be heard at night and beauty shows in our noble actions and our good work okay so this is uh, the summary of the lesson now there are some questions in the uh, the few words here I've, i i i will share this ppt also wind sighing means wind blowing singer chanting singer singing earnest 
earnest means with sincerity okay good deeds means good work now i want you all to open your uh, textbook working with the poem which is on page number 55 okay now the first question here is the poet says beauty is heard in please check your book working with the poem beauty is heard in can you hear beauty and a sound that you uh, think is beautiful to the sounds the poet think things are beautiful the poet Keats says Keats it's a uh, he is a very very well known uh, poet his full name is John Keats okay heard melodies are sweet but those unheard are sweeter that means what we hear is very beautiful but what we don't hear that is even more beautiful that is even more melodious what do you think this means that is what is the meaning of this line heard melodies are sweet but those unheard are sweeter that means what we hear is sweet melodious but what we don't hear is even uh, even better even more beautiful that's the poem I, I will show you where it is in your textbook okay this is the uh, working with the poem this is the question I'm talking about the poet says beauty is in her can you hear and the question is what do you think this means have you heard have you ever heard a, a, a song in your head long after the song was sung or played we, the question is based on this heard melodies are sweet but those unheard are sweeter so the answer to this question would be it says we find melodious notes of cuckoo or night angles very pleasing to our ears the uh, the uh, chirping of the singing of the birds cuckoo and night, night angles are very pleasing to our ears but that pleasure is still incomplete okay then we have models of perfect beauty in our imagination we perfect beauty in our imagination what is the what is beautiful uh, what should be a beautiful thing but we wait anxiously that means we wait eagerly for our beloved voice and chanting of prayer in holy places it means uh, you know the sound of your mother calling your name or the sound of your father calling you lovingly it is it is even more beautiful than the sound of the birds singing so there is you know uh, the sound of our beloved is even more melodious than the songs of the birds and the chanting of prayers is the sound the uh, uh, the singing of prayers in holy places in temples are more melodious we all look for perfection okay that means we look for we all are looking for better even melodious song even better even more beautiful things around us it is a poetic a poetic phrase idea or expression they always follow us throughout our life okay that means we look for even beautiful and even more melodious sound and sight then the next uh, question here is read the first stanza first and second stanza of the poem note the following phrases they have few phrases given corn growing people walking this could be written as corn that is growing people who are working or dancing now can you rewrite other phrases like this okay yes we can we can rewrite yes few other process uh, phrases have been shortened in the poem for example stream is flowing or the baby who is crying or the baby is crying rain is falling or the singer who is singing or the singer is chanting you can write like this so and why do you think the poet has its question is why do you think the poet has uh, used short shorter phrases it is i think the poet uses shorted phrases for creating musical effect okay that is the answer then in the next question is find pictures of beautiful things so uh, this i will not this is some activity you have to do then the fourth one is write a paragraph about beauty use your own ideas along with the ideas in the poem so here you have to this is a paragraph writing you will have to write a paragraph about uh, beauty uh, like you know it can be anything it can be a beautiful scenery it can be a beautiful feeling it can be something beautiful music you have heard so you can combine all that and you have to write a paragraph about beauty so children we will uh, I have today I have completed the explanation of this lesson beauty and we have discussed uh, working with the poem all the question answers we have discussed I have given you a few new words I hope this lesson was clear to all of you I will upload this PPT and the PDF both 
to study materials in the Google Classroom. If you have any, uh, any doubt, any confusion, please let me know. Otherwise, please write down these question answers in your copy. Okay, uh, working with the poem, these question answers, please write it down in your notebooks. Thank you.